In this lecture snippet, I want to focus in on the product key or activation of Windows 8 operating system. And so what I've got, I've logged into basically a default installation of Windows 8. And I want to check to first to see if my computer is actually activated. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look for computer. So if I start typing computer in on my desktop here or on my start screen, computer, there we go. You'll see that computer pulls up. I can right click on it and I want to choose properties. And this is going to bring up the, basically the properties of my computer system and you can see down here at the bottom where my mouse is that Windows is currently not activated. Now in previous installations or versions of Windows they had the option to actually type in the product key here and now I do not have that option. So what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go back to the start screen and I want to type in CMD. This is going to be for the command prompt. If I right click on it Make sure that you run it as administrator. So we're going to go ahead and run this as administrator. And I want to type in the command SLUI followed by a space and then the number 3. And if I hit enter now, it's going to present me with a dialog box here to actually type in my current or my new product key that I have for my operating system. And so I can go through and enter in the product key. Now this is not a valid product key that I'm entering but you can see that you can enter the product key and then choose activate based on your new product key. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here uh, and there's another option that some people use as well rather than doing the graphical if you wanted to do it through all the command line you can also run slmgr.vbs you can see that there. Uh, we're going to type in the options we're going to do a dash ipk after a space there and then another space and then what we're going to need to do now is enter in our product key that we want to use and you can enter in a valid product key there and then hit enter so both of these options work for changing your product key and activating Windows 8 operating system